aka Total Makeup Junkie 101 and welcome to Tarte Week on my channel. I know that sounds a little weird, like Tarte Week, but this week I'm going to be having four videos go up on my channel. Normally I upload every Monday and Thursday, but this week I'm going to be uploading Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for you guys because I have four Tarte holiday gift sets that I want to review and I figured why not just review them all at once and just post bam, 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 video after video for you guys. After posting a picture on my Instagram page showing you guys the four gift sets I was going to be reviewing, so many of you guys were really, really pumped for my video. So I decided instead of just doing two videos, I was initially going to just compare the two kind of bigger sets that have the eyeshadows and the blushes and all that good stuff in it. And then I was going to do a separate video on just the two different blush sets that Tarte has. I decided to split it up into four different videos so I could go into really good depth on each and every set. And in the videos, I will absolutely tell you guys which ones of these kits I prefer over the other because I want to do a really good in-depth review on these goodies. So I figured, you know what, four individual reviews on these kits will give you guys the most information. So like it says in the title, this video is going to focus on the Sephora exclusive Tarte Bon Voyage gift set. This set is $59. Tarte claims that it is a $423 value. So that is a giant value you are getting for $59. Boxes on the Tarte holiday products are too stinking cute this year. I believe the entire collection is called the Sweet Dreams Collection. So it's just really beautiful. It's got like a lilac background with this gold kind of florally print. Very, very pretty. The Bon Voyage gift set comes in a gorgeous makeup bag. And I'm not gonna lie, the makeup bag really, really convinced me to get this set because it is so, so pretty. I will say that the makeup bag isn't made amazingly because when I was closing one of these, this little tassel actually popped off. So it is just super glued, so I'll just have to super glue it back, but that's just something to note. The makeup bag isn't made amazingly. It probably will end up falling apart if you use it a lot, but it's really pretty. So when you open up the makeup bag, this is everything you are getting in the set. So down here you are getting two different Lip Surgeons products. You are getting one of the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, one of their Lip and Cheek Stains, a mini Maracuja Oil, and an Amazonian Clay Loose Setting Powder. And then here at the top you are getting an eyeshadow palette. Now the best part about this makeup bag is that you can actually use it as a makeup bag because this little insert completely pops out the makeup bag can be completely empty so before we talk about the eyeshadow palette which I know is probably the thing that everybody is the most excited about I just want to run through these things that you're getting additionally so this first thing you are getting is the Tarte smooth operator Amazonian clay finishing powder it is just a loose finishing powder very similar to like the makeup forever HD powder it's just a translucent loose setting powder it does its job nothing too fancy nothing too exciting but it works if you want to use it. Next up, you are getting a mini bottle of their Maracuja oil, and I have to say, this oil used to be my holy grail facial moisturizer. I used to use it all the time. I think I've gone through three big bottles of this stuff, and I'm really, really happy to have a mini size. This Maracuja oil you can use for absolutely everything, your hair, your face, any parts on your skin that is dry, your nails, your cuticles, it just is an all-in-one moisturizer. Next up, you are getting one of their lip and cheek stains in the shade Muse. Now, this is a new shade to me. I don't know if this is a new shade in the kit, but um, overall, I'm not crazy about this shade in particular. It's kind of a very light, kind of champagne, peachy bronze type color. Um, it's definitely too light for my skin to be used as a cheek stain or of any sort. It's really not a um, 
it's not dark enough to be a stain. I could use this as a cream highlight on my skin, which I am going to try because I find these Tarte um, cheek stains, they don't usually stain my skin very well, but I do like the overall effect they can give. They are a little bit sticky on the skin and they don't dry down completely, so you do want to set it with some sort of powder. Next up in the kit, you are getting a deluxe sample size of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is their very, very standard mascara. A lot of people either love it or hate it. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, it works, but I find other mascaras do a much better job than this one. This has a very traditional looking brush. It's just a medium sized traditional bristle brush. And, you know, it's just kind of an average mascara. So as far as the Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint, you are getting it in the shade Romantic. And this is a really, really nice medium, neutrally mauve pink. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's just a cream finish. And this, I think, is a really beautiful, universally flattering shade. I am really glad they went with a shade like this for the kit versus a lighter nude because this is actually a very nice neutral color even on my skin tone. And then as far as the Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss, this one is definitely a lot more sheer than I was expecting it to be. It's kind of a very, very sheer, once again, neutral, mauve pinky type color. The shade is very, very similar to the Romantic Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint, but it's just much, much more sheer. It almost shows up as a clear lip gloss on my lips. As far as what I think of these lip products, I have and I think always will love the original Lip Surgeon's lip tints. These are just fabulous jumbo lip pencils. In my eyes, they are the ones that kind of open my world and open my eyes to the world of jumbo lip products. These were the first jumbo lip products I tried. I love them. They have a really um, nice minty type scent. If you're not crazy about minty lip products, you probably won't like these, but I kind of have a personal... Um, kind of like a little personal, it's nostalgic to me to use these, so I will always love these. And as far as the new Lip Surgeon's lip glosses, these have a vanilla scent to them. They're kind of similar to the MAC lip glosses, so if you weren't crazy about the peppermint, you may like the scent of the lip glosses. However, I have to say this lip gloss in particular is kind of thick and sticky, and it doesn't deliver a lot of pigment. So. Um, I don't mind sticky lip glosses, especially if they have good pigmentation to them because I find they stick and last a lot longer throughout the day. But if this lip gloss was kind of just clear to begin with, I don't, I don't know. It's just something about the stickiness. It's only worth it to me if it's delivering really beautiful color, and this one really isn't. Okay, now on to the main part of the review, the thing I'm sure you guys were all waiting for. It is the eyeshadow palette in the same exact packaging as the outer box and as the makeup bag. It is just too stinking gorgeous. It's really, really thin, which I love for the amount of eyeshadows you're getting in here. The packaging is nice and thin. When you open up the palette, you are not getting a mirror here at the top, which I actually don't really mind in a palette like this because I find it's a little bit less... Um, I guess it's less prone to breaking if there's a mirror in here. That's one less thing that can break in the palette. And all of the shadows are covered by a plastic sheet with the names on them. Now, this is one thing that I always have a beef with because I wish Tarte would just print the stupid names on the back of the palette. It's really not that much more effort and it would just save everybody from having to keep this plastic sheet if you want to know the names of these. Ignoring the plastic sheet, as far as the actual eyeshadows you are getting in this palette, they are gorgeous. Now they are in the neutral color scheme. You can see you're not getting any significant pops of color in this palette, but if you are looking for just a nice you can take it anywhere with you. You can get any type of look with this type of palette. This is beautiful. Now to me, this palette definitely leans a little bit more cool than it does warm. You're getting a lot more cooler neutrals, especially here with these browns. They're definitely infused with some purple. There's this kind of darker purple. You're getting some like charcoal, some silvers. It's definitely kind of pulling a little bit cooler toned in my eyes, but I still love it. I think it's really gorgeous. So now let's get into swatches of this entire eyeshadow palette. I will show them to you guys in rows across. 
starting with the top row of the palette. First, you are getting a very, very light, almost like a pinky beige matte color. Then you are getting a light brown. This one is also a matte finish. Then you are getting a medium brown, just a couple shades darker than the last one, and this one is also a matte finish. Then you are getting a darker, almost like a purple toned matte brown. And then you are getting the deepest, almost like a charcoal purpley toned matte. Moving on to the second row in the palette. First up, you are getting a light matte warm tone beige color. Then you are getting a slightly metallic medium coppery brown. Then you are getting a dark coffee brown with a matte finish. Then you are getting a slightly metallic dark coffee brown. And then lastly, you are getting um, a darker, very, very deep brown color with a little bit of metallic finish. Then for the third row in the palette, first off, you are getting a very, very light, kind of beigey white, but this one has a lot of really awkward, chunky glitter in it. I really don't like this shade a lot. Then you are getting a very light, um, matte, medium brown type color. Then you are getting my favorite color in the entire palette. It is a gorgeous, extremely metallic, coppery brown color. Then you are getting a very dark matte coffee bean type color. And lastly, you are getting kind of what I would describe as a forest teal. It's kind of almost a forest green, but it has a little bit more um, blue tones in it. And now for the last row in the palette. First off, you are getting a very, very metallic, almost like a glittery silver color. Then you are getting a slightly metallic gray. Then you are getting um, almost like a bluey charcoal gray matte color. Then you are getting a true charcoal matte black. And lastly, you are getting a matte, almost like a cobalt purple. This is a really unique color in the palette. Now, as for the quality of these eyeshadows, I have to say they are pretty much right in line with what I expect from a Tarte eyeshadow. They are not extremely, extremely pigmented. They don't deliver a lot of color. I did have to build up the swatches that I did. I didn't put them over primer, but I did have to put at least two to three layers of each color to get that color payoff. I have to say Tarte eyeshadows are the eyeshadows I would personally recommend to a beginner. They are so beginner friendly because they don't deliver too much color. You can blend them out so easily. They're not really powdery. You won't get a lot of fallout with these shadows, but you do have to build them up. So even if you're using some of these darker colors and say you are kind of intimidated by darker colors, you really don't have to worry with these because they don't deliver that much payoff anyways. As you saw in the swatches, you can get them to be built up, but I have to say these are just kind of easy eyeshadows. If you are expecting the pigmentation of say like an Urban Decay eyeshadow, you will not get it with this. Personally, I don't really mind it. It does take a little bit more effort to get these to show up very vibrantly on your eyes. I would highly recommend an eyeshadow primer and or an eyeshadow base, like a colored base those would help these eyeshadows infinitely. They're not bad by any means. That's just kind of the way Tarte eyeshadows are. I have found that to be the case with any Tarte eyeshadow I've used. So that is my overall review on the Tarte Bon Voyage set. If you guys wanna see how I think this set compares to the Ulta exclusive, this is the Away We Go set. I will have a review on this set coming up tomorrow and I will talk in that video how I think this one compares to this one. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I will put a link to it at the end of this video if it is already up. But as far as just this set, as far as everything you are getting in this set, do I think it is worth the $59? I don't think it's bad. But I think unless you are over the moon about the eyeshadow palette and you guys haven't tried Tarte eyeshadows and you want to, or if you love Tarte eyeshadows and you know you love them, then only this kit would be worth it. So that is all I have to say on that kit. Like I said, stay tuned tomorrow for my Away We Go palette review and I will talk about the comparisons and which one I prefer in that video. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I will also be comparing it to the Sephora exclusive Bon Voyage set, which I, I have found at Ulta and at TarteCosmetics.com. You cannot find this product at Sephora store.